So I can only attest to the treatment of POWs at the front line. Um, and it was mixed. So it was it was the most normal thing in the world to pose with them, to make pictures with them, to, humil to humiliate them. It was always among our Ukrainian comrades. You know, it was part of the good tone to like put a gun on their on their chest and say, "Oh, say Slava Ukraini," um, or make them say Putin Huilo, stuff like that. That was normal. That was normalized for our Ukrainian comrades. That did not happen in my units that did not happen by any of the volunteers I was with, but it happened. It was done by the Ukrainians. Also, what was relatively normal was just to to slap or to beat um, prisoners. Sometimes if they weren't doing anything fast enough, sometimes just because you felt like it or because somebody felt like it and just went past him, slapped him on the head, stuff like that. What I did see on one occasion was, and those were the the, the Spetsnaz guys. One was was beaten. Um, a Ukrainian comrade. He put him on his knees. He made him back for his life. He stabbed him in the in the thigh with a knife, um, and then sent him on his way. And later that same day. I don't remember who it was. It was not the same guy. It was someone else. Um, they took three prisoners of war in the in the in the nearby forest, um, and you could just hear, and they came back without prisoners. I think you can fill in the blanks. Um, that is what I saw, and that is what it seemed to me like the the. Uh, the deeds of, of individuals, so individual war crimes. There was actually an investigation launched by the unit into who killed the prisoners, into mistreatment of prisoners. Um, however, I'm not aware that anything, any kind of, of consequences were uh, resulted from that. Everything else, though, the, the corruption, um, guns, you know, being loaded into civilian cars in the middle of the night, never to be seen again. Uh, bayonets that were supposed to be there that at some point just dematerialized. Drone guns that apparently never made it there. Glocks that went missing after two days. Um, all of that I can I can attest to. I can attest to lying, constant fucking lying from mostly from the Ukrainians, mostly from the upper echelons, people like Taras or Sasha that we were under, but also just on your level, constant lying, constant misinformation, gaslighting, just blatant fucking gaslighting. Um, and, and of course, rough mistreatment. So I had one of my, the guys in my team actually, um, while I was in Mykolaiv, he was in Kiev with Sasha, and he had Sasha pull a gun on him and demand that he hand over his his um, you know his his combat gear, what? which he purchased for the unit. 